beautiful place. Super peaceful. Just in case any ghosts come to steal the car. Now that must be, is that the name of the church? I wonder that all of these... Sister Colette, Sister Mary Mo and Sister Cecilia. Requisquiat and Pache, rest in peace. I think these are all priests or nuns. It's like a nun's graveyard. One of them really likes to play football. These are 2002s. Little babies. And that's look, that's spooky. Look at the eyes on that little spooky. And that first one over there, he's got an helicopter. Oh. It's a brand new helicopter. It must be recent. Yeah. So sad. The sucky thing is, you'd want to like sort of pick up the barrel and put it straight, but then you're thinking maybe it's supposed to be like that. Yeah. So I'm not going to touch it. Oh look, he's got little Lamborghinis. <laughs> that was so sad. <laughs> Little Ferraris. Jason Simmons or something. I bet this bloke is reading the Bible. Jeremiah. Jeremiah F. 1877. Oh, the miles even goes right over the other side. It's a huge graveyard. So Captain James Muckleveny, 1872. So I'm guessing all of the all of the Confederate soldiers that died all had to have this metal thing shoved in the ground. Yeah, I wonder how many years that's been fluttering away. Pretty amazing. Yeah, can, oh, CSA stands for Confederate State Army. Oh, so here's the USA equivalent look. So I guess it was a Yankee grave, and just over there is a Confederate grave. It's a soldier's graveyard. However I feel about the different causes of these, these are all brave men that fought for ideals they believed in, be they right or wrong. It's very humbling. Confederate States Navy. Wouldn't, oh man, how sad. Oh, look at this, Tobes. This is actually really sad. Look, it just says Confederate States Navy and every single grave marker just says unknown. So I guess they sunk something. Or well, the bodies got washed ashore, so they just buried them under an unknown grave marker. Big bloody cannon over there, though. Wow. Ah, yep, 1850s, these are dated. Leave these guys in peace. This is the creepy section of the graveyard, including rusty old gates and little seats you can come and just have a look at your burial plot. Look at that, amazing. It has little sections figured out this one just from looking at the graves and the inscriptions and the fact that there's two fire hydrants in each corner it's a fireman volunteer fireman graveyard dying of horrible things like yellow fever and various diseases the hell is that <laughs> someone's being shot they're probably shooting the Brits for uh, trespassing on the cemetery or graveyard ground
alligator hunting. My question to you though is, is this the middle of the day? How come the moon's up? It's up there, eh? Yeah. Does, well. that, does that mean the people at night time aren't seeing a moon? No. No, good answer. <laughs> is it a cemetery or is it a graveyard? Graveyard, cemetery. Something just went wood wood. Making those rings. Big splashity splash fish or alligator or something. Amazing place. Put this cemetery on your list if you're coming to visit Charleston, I say. Right. I think it's time to cheer up and go and get a beer. Much more upbeat notes. Back to front mode.